what you do for me, Toyota. I still remember that jingle when I was a kid, seeing the Toyota commercials on TV. Odd, some of the things that pop into my mind. Uh, Sunday morning, we're going to try to get some logs out. This weather forecast, I, they're saying now, first thing this morning, they were taking the rain out until tomorrow afternoon. Now they've got it out completely for Monday and Tuesday, but added it to Thursday and Friday. I don't know. It, I'm going to work because I'm scared if I don't, it's going to rain. But if I do work, it ain't going to rain. So you can see the conundrum there. I'm, I'm hosed either way. Now, a lot of times people ask me if we ever find arrowheads or stuff on our job sites. This is a broken tip here. Uh, my dad and I have a pretty impressive arrowhead collection. The people that know my dad and I know of this collection, but uh, it's probably 6,000 plus pieces. And broken ones like this don't count. That's whole pieces. Like we've got a bird point collection, if you guys know what bird points are, that's probably, I would compare it to anybody's anywhere. It, it's probably, I'm gonna go ahead and toot my own horn. It's probably the best in, in Missouri. I'll honestly say that it's several hundred bird points. Uh, bird points and Dalton points are kind of my dad's uh, forte on the collecting part of it, but we've found tons and tons of them. That's how I used to spend my childhood and adolescence looking for arrowheads. Anyway, uh, we're gassed up. We're gonna go down here, make some drags, try to wrestle them big trees out. We did a little work to the road last night with the 333 going down in there so hopefully we can climb out pretty easy with the 648 put some wood on the deck it's a new road we made for the landowner to run down this draw he's got a deer stand down here he had an existing road about the width of a side-by-side -side. <clears throat> so hopefully this will help him out quite a bit more and again this is a recreational property for the landowner so this is all about hunting up here these roads if we got out now and looked at the tracks and these log roads it would be phenomenal. The deer tracks, the coon tracks, the coyote tracks, everything that runs these roads. So this deer stands right there in front of us. Maybe you can see it. Maybe you can't. Yeah, you can see it. This goes right down here to these crop fields. So this should work out really good for him. These deer are just going to run this road right out of the river bottom, up here into the bluffs. Have ample cover with treetops. This ought to work out really, really nice few logs pushed around down here we'll try to get them first and get them out of the way from yesterday so we got a pretty good little bunch already drug up today worked up dad uh, stopped in he's on his way up to the bottom and try to get some more ash out I'm gonna stay working here it's, uh, it's kind of handy working two jobs so close together although at the same time it'd be kind of nice for both on the same job to get more done but it's kind of slow going here. Most of the trees, dad's, he's just dragging because he's got about everything cut down there. So I'm cutting and dragging. It's kind of rough where I'm cutting. So uh, dad doesn't like working on those bluffs anymore, which I don't blame him because it's, it's not even easy for a young spry man like myself. Uh, so I just took the skid steer, even with the bucket, just kind of push these together, try to make more room. That uh, turkey oak, spotted oak, crossbred hybrid oak all kinds of names that big tree it just cleaned up phenomenally pretty color to it sun's hitting look how tight them rings are old tree bur oak pretty good walnut here this chinkapin oak is cutting really well so we're gassed up so let's run back down here and see if we can get a few more of these chinkapin cut and I think there's one or two more walnut down there, and we'll drag up. And I'd say we're going to have to go with the truck. Get these out of here.
pretty good little Sunday. Quite a few logs out here on the deck. Got a bunch of them bucked up. Got a bunch more need bucked up. Uh, still got some trees cut down here to drag up. But we're getting kind of full. So I think I'll run home, grab the Mac, come down here and get a load. Try to get a few more of these out. This is that big guy here from yesterday. Now, I did have to cut it in two to get it out because there's one spot down here in my log road, kind of a little step-up rock ledge. It's giving me a lot of trouble, and I've had to go in and uh, kind of make a ramp with the skid steer and just kind of I've had to go back over it a couple times to uh, keep enough dirt in there to make sure the ramp's good. I'm not sure. I cut this log at 16. It's just a under 17 foot. I, I cut it where I can make two eights out of it. I'm not sure the diameter of this. Uh, let's see here. So we're about 38 inches that way. This way we're yeah, about 38. Probably go a little further here. Oh yeah. We're, it's hard to do holding this thing with one hand. It's 40 that way. So we'll just call it a 38 to be safe. So yeah, 16 foot, 38 inches. There's some footage there then. I'd say there's probably 20 foot here. But uh, if I can get this ruler straightened out. Eight. 12. 16. We're going to be shy of 20. Just barely shy of 20. So, yeah. A lot of footage in that tree. A couple good bur oaks had just come out. Got another good walnut back there. These are actually some top logs from this tree. Uh, this one was the top log to the spotted oak, but all these three here are top logs to this tree. So the footage is going to be well, 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 well over 2,000 feet in that one tree, 2,000 board feet. So pretty much I could just about make a load of logs out of that uh, black oak there and that uh, spotted oak over there. And this thing actually cut off. It's really showing pretty good now the sun's hitting it turning into pretty pink color really some good wood surprise me so that's probably going to be it for today i know we go to i guess an awesome cutting video yesterday and we followed up with a just a work video today i, I didn't film much cutting uh, i try to change it up a little bit i don't like every video to be the same but in my eyes they're all the same so they're just just logging videos Anyway, we'll go home, we'll get the Mac, we'll come back, get some logs on the yard. Hopefully this weather holds off. Hopefully we can get another good work day tomorrow. Maybe we'll get Tuesday. Not counting on it, but maybe we can. Uh, if we can get a load or two out of here tonight, then Dad should have a load ready, maybe two. Not a bad start to the week for a Sunday. See you guys. Hey guys, if you like what you see, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for all of our latest videos.